Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to fix your H9 camera if you've got it braked. This happens when you're trying to change its firmware and you end up with a camera which will get stuck with a black or white screen when you turn it on. It mainly happens when you try to upgrade it to a version which it wasn't meant to support. Before getting into that, I want to let you know of a feature I missed about this camera in my previous video which was a complete review about the Econ H9 4K action camera. If you haven't watched it yet, I will suggest you pause this video and click on the annotation on the screen or in the link in the description to watch that first. You will get a better idea as to what I'm about to get into. Anyway, you might remember me saying, Next is looping video. I'm not really sure what this option is for. Well, I should have done a bit more research. When you switch on the looping video feature, what happens is if the memory gets full while recording, it will automatically overwrite the first video it recorded. It is also called the FIFO feature meaning first in first out. This allows your latest video to be available all the time and plus the recording won't stop if the memory is full. Back to repairing the camera. First I'll brick my camera on purpose. What happened originally was that my camera arrived with a firmware version which didn't have 720p recording. So I contacted my seller and they sent me a new version to install. I loaded that update onto a formatted micro SD card just like I'm doing right now and then inserted it into the camera. When I turn it on by holding the power button for a couple of seconds, it will say FW update on the screen. After a couple of minutes, the camera will shut down and when I try to switch it on, the screen will get stuck at white. The funny thing is, it is still working and since I know that the first screen which comes after turning it on is video recording, I can press the record button and it will start recording. You can see the red light blinking. And if you stop the video and remove the memory card and look it up in your PC, you can see it has recorded the video but you just can't see what is happening on the display of the camera. So let's fix that now. First of all, open your web browser and type Econ H9 Braked in Google. Click on the first link that appears which says wwweconh 9 brickedcouk This whole process is made possible by Ron Shaw who owns this website. He helped me step by step on his awesome Facebook user group. I'll provide links to all of his Facebook and YouTube channel in the end. Now that you're on the main page, click on the move to next button in the top right part of the screen. Now click on the type of camera you have. Since Econ has launched the H8 and H8R models after the H9, Ron Shaw keeps updating his website to provide people with all the help they need with all the models. I have an H9 so I'm gonna click on H9. Next is the language selection, another wonderful option. I'll click on English. Here is some important information, for example that the driver we are about to install is only compatible with USB 2.0 ports and not 3.0, so make sure you have them on your PC. There's also a link to his Facebook user group here. Click on continue. Next you have to choose which type your camera is. There are two types of Econ H9. If you remember the version number from your camera, you can look it up under the two types here. If you don't remember, click on go to unknown. This simply says that you should try both to see which method works. I'll go back to the previous page. Thanks to my previous video, I remember my version number it's 151015 which shows under type 2. So I'll just click on type 2. On this page you can see three buttons. Before we click on any of them you should know that the process of driver installation differs a little bit with Windows 7, 8 and 10. I'm going to be showing you Windows 7. If you're using a different Windows, click on the relevant button to get complete information. Then come back to this page and click on the first button. On this page you can pay a small amount to help Ron keep the site updated as this is a non-profit thing and he funds it from his retirement pension. To keep the tutorial going on, for now I'm gonna click on the no button. From the next page, click on the first button to select your Econ camera model. You can see 15 models here. I'll click on H9. Again select which type your camera is. I'll click on type 2. I'll click on no again but I will highly suggest you donate something as little as 1 euro for all the efforts. Now click on the button which says Econ H9 Type 2 Recovery Made Simple .7z. After your file has downloaded, move it to the desktop 
and unzip your file. The zip file is password protected and you can contact Ron on Facebook for it. Once you have the password, unzip the file and keep it on your desktop. Now it's time to restart your computer. Restart it and once it starts booting up, press F8 key continuously if you are on Windows 7 and F7 key if you are on Windows 8 or 10. This screen will appear. Go down to Disable Driver Signature Enforcement and press Enter. This will allow you to install the SPCA 6350 driver which we just downloaded. Once your PC has fully started up, take your camera, remove the battery and memory card, plug in a micro USB cable into it, press and hold the up button on the side of the camera and plug the other end of the USB cable into your PC into a USB 2.0 port. How do you tell? Well, a blue port is a USB 3.0, a black one is a USB 2.0. Release the up button after about 5 seconds. Ignore any pop-ups that might appear on your computer screen as of now. One important thing to note here is that if you try to use the cable that came along with the camera, it probably won't work as it is only meant for charging. Use a data transfer cable that came along with your Android phone instead. Once plugged in, go to search and type device manager and open it up. This is just for visual aid so we know what is happening. Keep it open on one side of the screen and then go to the folder you downloaded and unzipped earlier. Open it and you will see three folders. Open the folder named number one and install the driver inside it. You'll get warnings in between. Click install drivers anyway button. This shows that the drivers are being installed successfully. Once it is installed, click finish and now you can see in the device manager, it shows the camera under imaging devices as iCatch something camera and also under the USB ports hub. This means that the driver has been successfully installed and now the computer recognizes the camera. Now go back to your recovery folder, open download folder and look for FRM application with this bright red logo. Double click on it to run. All the settings here have been set so you don't have to change anything. Just click on ISP F5 button and it will start repairing your firmware. All you have to do now is wait. If you get a pop-up saying ISP core error, simply unplug your camera Wait for a couple of seconds and plug it in again, repeat the process. Most probably it would have timed out and it will work eventually. After a couple of minutes, it will finish installing the correct firmware and repairing the camera and it will say ISP finished on the screen. This means your camera is as good as new now. You can unplug it and use it straight away. If you want to upgrade it to the latest available version, go back to your recovery folder and open the folder named normal. You will see a file named sphost.brn. Copy this file onto a formatted micro SD card and insert it into the camera. Switch it on and it will start updating the camera and it will say FW update on the screen. In about a minute or two, you will have the latest software installed. Remove your memory card and format it before putting it back in the camera again or it will repeat the process each time you switch it on. If I go to settings now, you can see I have 4K recording at 25 FPS and 2.7K at 30 FPS 
which is way smoother than what I showed in my previous review. And if you remember in my previous version, I had 4K at 10 FPS and 2.7K at only 15 FPS. Well, that's it. Congratulations, you have successfully restored your H9 camera back to a perfectly working condition. A huge shout out to Ron Shaw who has made all this possible. If you own any of the Econ cameras, you should definitely join his user group on Facebook. He'll be more than happy to help you out with any technical problems you have. You can also download the latest firmware versions for almost all Econ cameras from his Facebook page for free. You'll find them under the Files tab here. You should also check out his YouTube channel where he has a detailed video on how to do the same procedure with Windows 10. The links to his YouTube channel, Facebook and website can be found in the description box below. If you're interested to buy the H9 camera, I've provided a link to Gearbest.com's product page as well. They have a huge double 11 sale right around the corner. I'll be doing a shopping guide video about that later this week. Until then, it's goodbye from my booth. Don't forget to take part in my smartwatch giveaway, which is still going on. Watch that video for a chance to win a $60 number one G3 smartwatch. If you liked this video, hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. Make sure you like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Google Plus and Instructables. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.